Hey guys, it's me Kenji and I am back with yet another video. It's probably what, been about a year now, but hey, I just want to let you know I am I am back and I'm back for good, okay? Just just wanted to let you know that. Out of all my trips that I have taken over the past year, I have only carried a carry-on. Yes. I said I said it 22 inches weighs less than 40 pounds if not 30 pounds and I was able to carry everything that I needed so you're probably thinking like oh my god what how what do you mean just yeah that's that's basically that's yeah it's it's possible it's possible and I'm going to teach you how like to say oh my gosh I need options if that works for you and you feel like hey I, I need to have options I need to have a bigger bag then so be it do you this is just what I personally like to do I couldn't tell you how many times I've traveled to Toronto and I brought all these clothes on top of that I was taking a 12-hour bus to Toronto all of these times Ugh. I had this big huge suitcase with me and I was only using half of it. It just made no type of sense. So I said, you know what, I need to consolidate somehow. Something needs to happen. So I, I challenged myself. Since I'm always that person that likes to leave the house and come back two minutes later because I forgot something. Lists have been the answer to all of my problems. I kid you not, I write every single thing down to a T so that I will never forget what I need to bring with me before I leave. Starting with your personal item or bag, backpack, whichever, categorize and list all of your daily essentials. Passport, keys, lip balm, wallet, etc. Basically, everything you know you can never leave the house without. What is the weather going to be like when you're there? What are you going to be doing while you're there? Sometimes you don't even know, but sometimes you do know, okay? You know the type of life you live, all right, in your private life, okay? I. We all know. You could be the type of person that likes to go out to the clubs at night. The type of person that likes to go out for brunch, not really a night person. Think about these things. As I choose my outfits, I categorize and list them as well. Feel free to include an airport OT, okay? Cause like, come on. We can't, we can't just go to the airport looking crazy. We gotta look snatched in a way. I'm not saying you have to go there with makeup on or whatever, but still, like you wanna, you wanna be comfortable, but at the same time presentable. There's also lists for my day-to-day -day OTDs, swimsuits, outfit of the night, and loungewear. For these OTDs that I create, I also like to try them on in the mirror, of course. I will even match my wig to it. I'm like, hmm, does this, does this look good? Let me see. Curly wig with this outfit. Okay, I like this. Put that over there. I list out products from head to toe, including shoes, accessories, bag, and if I'm collaborating with a company at the time, I'll include their product as well. Can't stress this enough. When it comes to planning these outfits, think about versatility, mix and match. Make sure they all can go together and that can they can work for different occasions or different weather conditions. packing your toiletries make sure you have a toiletry bag i cannot stress that enough that is very important it helps so much especially when you're traveling with people but make sure you get travel size liquid versions of whatever products you may be using for your skin for your hair for makeup that sort of thing everything is kind of laid out all on the floor or on your bed you're gonna want to organize them as you go put your pants with the pants put your tops with the tops your pajamas with the pajamas packing cubes and bags little baggies that can hold my shoes any dirty clothes that I end up having on the trip they help me organize all my different types of pieces for one cube I like to put all my pants for another cube I put all my tops <music> If 
you wear a lot of jewelry, make sure you get a jewelry case, like a travel case. It already has a pre-made kind of solution where you can wrap your necklace around and not have to worry about untangling it or whichever. It also has a compartment for bracelets, for rings, for earrings, that sort of thing. It's very helpful. I like to pack my basics in my shoes. Not only is it good for space-wise, but it also is good for keeping the shape of your shoe. Another tip, if you have bulky items, like I'm talking about a big puffer jacket or some tall boots, you're gonna wanna put that or make that a part of your airport OTD, okay? Especially if you plan on traveling with just a carry-on. You know that stuff is not gonna fit in there. Thanks for watching this video guys, I really hope it helps. If you have any sort of tips that I may not have mentioned in this video, please comment down below. If you liked any of the tips that I mentioned in this video, comment that below as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, take care. Bye!